Hello, this is Klaus Jensen presenting Game 3 from the World Championship match in Sofia, Bulgaria. After two very exciting opening games, we had a rest day yesterday, and Game 3 was played today. And let's have a look at the game. Topalov is white and started d4 and d5 from an aunt. He wisely abandons the green fold and goes back to the Slav defense. c4, c6, knight f3, knight f6, knight c3, d takes c4, a4, bishop f5, knight e5, e6, f3, c5, e4, bishop g6, bishop e3, c takes d4, queen takes d4, queen takes d4, bishop takes d4, knight f to d7, knight takes d7, knight takes d7, bishop takes d4, a6, rook c1, rook g8, h4, h6, king e2, bishop d6, and in this position to part of played h5, uh, a very simple move with some, some consequence uh, because an aunt's bishop is now forced back to h7, but uh, it's doing very little, little for an aunt and uh, it's not so easy to activate. And and now Topalov turns his attention to the queen side, which is only natural as he has uh, all his pieces except the rook on h1 active on this side of the board. So a5 followed here, king e7, and now realizes the importance of a quick transfer of the rook to the king side, to, to the queen side, sorry, this rook here, and um, in fact it also is the start of the rescue plan for this bishop on h7. To part of plate knight a4, f6, putting a pawn on a light square and uh, opening up for the bishop on uh, h7, b4, the rook goes to the queen side, bishop c5, trying, Topalov is trying to create an imbalance on the queen side by creating a possible dangerous uh, c-pawn. Anand is happy to trade some uh, piece and then follows b takes c5. Rook c7 from Anand, knight b6, rook d8, knight takes d7, rook d takes d7, bishop d3, bishop g8, starting the activation of the bishop, and then follows uh, c6, which is in this position the only uh, chance for Tupalov to get uh, more than a draw from this game. And if an aunt had played b takes c6 here, then after bishop takes a6, rook a7, rook takes c6, and then for example rook d6, there still might be a tiny hope for, for Topalov uh, because he has this uh, this pawn on a5 but I think it would be defendable for, for an art without too many problems but this was what he could hope for and another possibility is of course to take the rook here and then after rook takes d6 and b takes d6 rook b1, king d6, rook b6, e5, bishop takes a6, this is easy to defend for an aunt, uh, for example rook a7 here. So this was also a possibility for, for an aunt, but an aunt decided to keep things really simple by playing rook d6 here, which uh, uh, denies to pile of any pass pawns and also prevents any white rooks uh, entering the black position. So a good uh, defensive move you could say. C takes b7, rook takes b7, rook c3, bishop f7, king e3 and bishop e8. And now Anand has freed his bishop and neutralized Topalov's aggression on the queen side and he has clearly equalized the game at this point. g4, e5, rook a c1, bishop d7. And now I actually think you could say that Anand's bishop is actually a better piece than Topalov's bishop because the black pawns are on dark squares and this light squared bishop uh, has full movement here while Anand's light squared bishop, sorry Topalov's light squared bishop 
is on the same color as all the pawns on the king side. So, in fact, I think you could say that that Anand's bishop is better, but but still Anand uh, decides that he wants to uh, trade bishops and get a sure draw, draw from the resulting uh, rook and game, and therefore he plays bishop b5 here, and bishop takes a takes rook b1, b4, rook b3, rook a6, king d3, rook b to a7, rook takes b4, rook takes a5, rook takes a5, and rook takes a5. And now they could easily have agreed on a draw in this position. But Topalov has promised not to accept any draw offers from uh, Anand, uh, or to make any himself. So we have to wait uh, to a, a draw by repetition. We very, very childish, uh, really. So what followed in the game was uh, rook b7, king f8, king e2, rook a2, check, king e3, rook a3, check, king f2, rook a2, check, king e3, rook a3, check, king f2, rook a2, check, king e3, rook a3, check, king f2. So, after all, uh, the, <laughs> the game ended in a draw. Um, one should not uh, think that this is uh, two um, adult players playing each other. This is uh, very childish uh, not to agree on a draw a lot earlier. But uh, back to the game, it was a very correct game from both players and therefore perhaps also a little boring. Uh, I think we can say that the rest day didn't do the match any good. So let's hope for more action uh, tomorrow in uh, game 4. And uh, I hope you did, did enjoy this uh, video anyway and I hope to see you on my blog at uh, klausjensen.com. Bye-bye for now.